Okay, it should be okay now. Sounds good, Hecklin. So I did play this a couple months ago. Before Breath of the Wild came out. What? I thought I had the filter on. I do now. Eh. Eh. That's working. So I do have a file from like ancient times that was actually, it wasn't very far, but still. Okay, file name. Give me a file name. Cass or horse? Horse? I think I gotta go with horse though. Because then it, it follows up the lore a bit better. In, um. In Breath of the Wild. This character becomes the horse I use in Breath of the Wild. Favorite version. Okay, Joe. I'm not naming it Dale because that would be a disgrace to Dale. Turn our back on Dale. so much lore. <laughs> Rise, horse. The time has come for you to awaken. You are fated to have a hand in great destiny. This is how Fee talks. I should, I should talk like Fee. The time has come for you to move again. Horse! So like I said, yeah, I have I did play this like a couple months ago. I got up to getting the sword of the goddess. I haven't I didn't even get to do a dungeon yet. And then Breath of the Wild came out and I spent like over a thousand hours playing that instead. But this is the like, game I promised I'd do casually that won the bit war like forever ago. So He's sleepyhead, I know how much you like to sleep in. So I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? No. I was up for hours. You're dumb and... I don't know. That's it. You're dumb, not even smart. 
Rise and shine, horse. Today's the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts, remember? You better not keep me waiting. Zelda. What a bitch. <laughs> Okay, now I gotta remember how to play this thing. Okay, A to go super fast. <laughs> if I recall, there's rupees in here. <laughs> I'm rich! <laughs> oh, easy game, easy life, man. Now I don't know what to do. <laughs> I can run. <laughs> Dude, I should totally upgrade my stamina bar. Wheel thing. Bro, you have a good point. You have a good point. How will I be able to climb walls with this? Like, I won't. Hey, horse, up here! That's not very nice. Don't call my names. Good morning to you, horse. Today's finally the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? Oh, I just remembered. There's something I'd like to ask you about. Look this way while pressing Z and... <laughs> while holding Z and, and press A to have a quick chat with me. Okay, okay, buddy, okay. I feel you, I feel you. Excellent! Always remember, you can press Z to target something. Once you've targeted someone with Z, you can easily talk to him or her by pressing A. And even when there isn't anything to target, pressing Z is a convenient way to quickly face the view forward. Oh, but it's a bit silly to carry on conversation with this distance. Why don't you come join me up here? You should be able to climb up if you dash up the top of those wooden boxes, don't you think? Move while holding A to dash. You should be able to make that jump fairly easy. Try climbing up here. You're always on my mind, bro. Look at that easy free. So what do you think? Using A to dash is useful, isn't it? Yeah, can I increase the bar? <laughs> However, don't dash around too much or you'll tie yourself out. Or your stamina gauge will be empty. Stamina gauge will be empty and you'll be completely out of breath. Gauge. It's best to take a little break when your stamina gauge gets too close to empty. Got all that? On to the next point. You can jump a short distance like this just by moving towards it. I like to call it the auto jump. Yeah, yes, the auto jump. It has a nice ring to it. Okay. I did it. I'm a god. Look at that. You can't even stop me. So what are you up to? Rushing to get some last minute bird riding practice in this morning, horse? Oh. You have someone to meet? Ah, uh, Zelda's waiting for you, isn't she? Perfect timing, then. See, Zelda's father, Headmaster Gapora, has a pet named Mia. And, well, she scampered off again. Look! Over there. Can you see her? Yeah, sure. The Headmaster is so busy working with Zelda, preparing for the ceremony. I thought that maybe I should feed her. But the ceremony's about to start, and I just... Put on a fresh set of clothes as well. Well, you see. Will you help me out and retrieve me up for your... Um... On. Ooh. Fantastic. So you'll do it? I know you're in a hurry, so I really appreciate you. You're taking the time to help. You should be able to climb up somewhere over there. If you hang off that ledge there, you can climb onto the roof from the other side. I'm terribly sorry, but I know you're quite the climber. I really do appreciate it. You got this, Lunk. You got this, horse. Hey. hey, horse. I don't care how good of a jumper you think you are. You'll never reach the roof. The a roof that high just by pressing A to dash. There should be a wooden box up there. Grab it and move it with A. And use it as a platform of sorts. You can climb onto a platform by pressing A to, to dash or by pressing up. 
for a few moments. How do I push it? Got it. Remembering the mechanics. Oh, I love tutorials. If I could play a game that was just tutorials, you think I wouldn't? I definitely would just play a game with just tutorials. Nice work. You brought her back safe and sound. Sorry for troubling you with this. I know you're busy, horse. I suppose I should feed Mia now. Please, tell the headmaster that we found his pet. He should be up there by the statue of the goddess. I believe Zelda is there with him, so you should hurry along. Can I upgrade my stamina at the Hero of the Goddess? You've got a stamina fruit! This particular fruit replenishes your stamina gauge. 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 This is straight up a game, Hecklin. You're totally out of loot. How's it going, by the way, Fuji? I don't need to say this. She's singing. Dude, I didn't get a drink! I just noticed. Hey, good morning, horse. Look at that smile. The smile of a demon. I'm glad to see my Lofwing got you out of bed. Now I got out of bed myself. Thank you very much. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. <laughs> but look at this instrument! And look at this outfit! They're mine to use today in the ceremony. Since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends. It sounds gorgeous too. I asked father about it. He, and he says it's called a harp. It is called a harp. <laughs> Look at these clothes. I made these this wrap myself. We get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. You don't look like Dale to me, dude. I got you up early this morning because I wanted to be the first you to be the first one to see me like this horse. That's good. Nice costume. <laughs> what exactly is that supposed to mean, you goof? If you think I look silly, just come out and say it. <laughs> ah, there you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, hello, father. Daddy. Ah, oh, horse, you're here too. Outstanding. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony had you excited uh, to close your eyes for once. Mm -hmm. If you win today's ceremonial race, you get to participate in the post-race ritual of Zelda, so give it your best out there. <sighs> yes, about that. <sighs> Father, I don't know if he can do it. Recently, Horace hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his loft wing, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's going to have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. Horse, back of the hand. The back of the hand is your friend, okay? That's what I'm saying. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easy. And as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little. You should know better not better than to fret about him. You see, Horse and his Loftwind share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. Uh, 
As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. Only made whole by our Lothlings, the guardian birds the goddess bestows upon each of us. It's a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our Lothling under a great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. Uh, but that first meeting between Horse and his Lothling was extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a crimson Lothling. It's a breed so rare, we were f sure for some time it had vanished from the line. Yes, and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Do you recall when Horse and that Lothling first of his, of his first met? What a sight. The little boy just hopped up on that bird and gracefully flew away without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. And judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with the bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. Bird has a point. Yo, Vigin Givens. Kades. Sorry to hear about your dog, Wild. Also, yeah, Printer. I know all about Sun and Moon. What a blast the first hour is. Ah, oh, but who could blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond shared by Horse and his Bird. <laughs> I'm gonna write a children's book called Horse and his Bird. Anyone who is part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. <laughs> this contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. This ceremony is part of final test for those trying to become Knights of Skyloft. If Horst doesn't fly fast enough during the race. Wild Horse messes up his big chance. What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Ooh. Ooh. Calm down, my dear. It will be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you're worried about Horse. Hey! Listen, Horse, you better fly your heart out there today. At the very least, you need to squeeze a little practice time before the race. Come on, you'll thank me later. <laughs> Here we are, going Now, jump off the lights and call your off swing. It's almost time for the ceremony to practice seriously for once. Hmm? Oh, yeah, you can't sense your bird out there. Oh, I get it. You're trying to weasel out of having to practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling anyone. You're fooling me, even. The fuck are you? <laughs> off you go. <laughs> Okay, horse, go ahead. Just press down and call your loft wing. That's Zelda's voice, Black Rose. I think I'm doing an amazing job. Hmm. This bird is sure taking a long time to get here. Something's wrong! What game did you, uh, PB in, Avenger Gibbons? Yo, we'll find out. And I started the playthrough, uh, Helketh, but I didn't get far at all before Breath of the Wild came out and consumed all my time. So I'm redoing it. Ooh. Are you too alright? I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain your wing, did you? This is a very odd, horse. What could possibly happen to your loft wing? For a bird to ignore the call of his master, it's unheard of. And you still can't sense your bird nearby, eh, horse? This is quite a problem, especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. Of course, when you said you couldn't sense your love one well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. I need to tend to my own loft wings, so I'll catch up with you later. Later. You better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird is gone. Yeah, bird, come on now. Next time. 
be there. Ooh. Mm. My, how did it get to be so late? If I recall correctly, this year, Inspector Harwell was presenting, presenting over at the ceremony. Of course, you should go explain the situation to him and I... And see if he's willing to delay the race a little bit so you can find your bird. But Father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Horace asks Inspector Harwell, he'll probably just come talk to you about it. Ah, oh, oh. oh, quite true. As usual, you make an excellent point, my dear. Very well, I'll explain the situation to him myself. Horse, run along and tell Instructor Harwell to come see me in my quarters. Bro, have you played the single player to, uh... Splatoon? So I don't remember where to go. Stop making such sexual sounds, dude. That takes me up here. Don't I need to go to town? Oh, I can go through here. Wow, I'm so smart. I figured it out all by myself. Horse. Hey, hey, horse! Can you help me with something? All you have to do is A to dash and roll into a tree. Just like I've been doing. Dash, then shake the nunchuck when you're about when you're in front of a tree. BAM! Do a roll right in front of it. So come on, please. Whoa, you did it! The sky stag beetle! Wait up! We really do, bro. I am so rich! Dude, 25 rupees already? I got a heart! Wow, I'm just a thief. This item, life-giving energy, restores one heart of life. You know, Bruce, that sure was a pain, with all the scratching and pecking. <laughs> of course it was. You thought a big crimson moth would know that was going to go down without a bite? You got him, and I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. <clears throat> Oh, 
Whoa, horse! So, uh, yeah, just how long have you been standing there? <laughs> What's your problem anyway? Oh, wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. You're pleading, Oh, Roos, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today? Please? You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up and the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> Well, sorry, pal. Goose doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice, work hard and wish it with all your heart. You might even come in second. Ooh. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? He's right in chat. Come on. Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do <laughs> you think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? He has nice hair. You, you, yeah, you got nice hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You lay off my dude right now, or I'll flatten you. Everyone knows I got the slickest pompadour in town. Agreed. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you, you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since we were kids. Big deal. Doesn't change the fact you're full of life. Your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? It looks like you were dragging out her honor to academy through the mud. <laughs> and just who might you be talking about, gross? Oh, oh. oh Zelda. Hey, oh. no, it's a. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't even try it, gross. You're picking on hearts again, aren't you? He's a student at the academy, like all of us. No. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, I, s I suppose. <laughs> um, hey, bur bird, bro. Um, did the book say anything about how to get rid of this guy? What do you suppose? Suppose what? I suppose you were. <laughs> Forget, I wasn't posing anything, okay? <laughs> okay, we're out here, boys. Later, horse. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out of today's race. That could be a major setback towards knighthood. So find that bird, or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. <laughs> Oh, it's already, yeah. Link's name is Horse in this game. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect those blockheads had something to do with their loft wings. That's the parents. Horse, those guys aren't going to help you find your bird, so we better start searching. I'll fly around Scuff Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Father said he's. So talk to Instructor Harwell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry, we'll find your bird in time. Bruce may be a feminist, kids. Yo, Dagon. I'm pretty sure Bruce just hides all his cocaine in his hair. It's starting to make sense to me. Yeah, that huge... I think you can turn off that huge remote. Why would I do that? <laughs> not a bird's been here the whole time. Like, I don't know why everyone's saying, Hey, bird's not here! He's literally right here. I know, Remarks, I'm really good at it. So I'll probably be playing for like about another hour or so, and then I'll probably head to bed. I don't want to stay up too late.
Where's more stamina fruit, man? I'm actually really curious, like, about the speedruns of this game. Of course, perfect timing. I heard your Loftwing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. And get this, when I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. Aww. I'm so sorry, horse. I really wanted to tell you, but Bruce found out I told you. Aww. It sounds like Bruce forced him to keep, to keep quiet about it. Go on, tell him the truth. Uh, just a little while ago, I was cleaning the dining hall. Bruce and his buddies came in. Oh, they didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your loft ring. Oh, I wanted to warn you, horse. But just as I tried to sneak away, Bruce's gang grabbed me. And they forced me to the wall. They, they kissed me. He said if I ever told you, they'd make sure I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. It sounds like Bruce and his buddies had a plan to catch her, your bird, and hide him near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean... Quick. Let's take a look at your map. That's right. I think it means the waterfall marked here with an X. Right there? Right there? Oh. You know how to read a map, right? Press the plus button at any time to see your map of the area. If you get lost, just press plus. Uh, uh. Forgive me, Horace. I can't help you. You're such a coward. I'm really sorry. Um, Hecklin, try it, like massaging your frontal lobes or where you feel the pain the most. Um, it'll help a little bit. Otherwise, try drinking lots of water. Uh, dim the screen if you can. Um, make sure you're not looking at any, like, blue lights. Those are really bad. Ooh. Hey, it's horse. So you still want to get in some sword practice even though today is the wing ceremony? I'm impressed. The sword is in the back room. Go back there and get it. I'll be here for a while. So if there's anything you don't understand about handling a sword, go ahead and ask. Okay. You've got to practice towards students at the Knight Academy practice with these. It looks like a, it has a fairly sharp blade. Press 1 at any time to look at the items you're carrying. Oh yeah? You want to learn about how to use a sword? Nah. <laughs> That's right, you're good with the sword. It practices everything. You don't become a swordmaster sitting on your rear end. You gotta practice those fundamentals, like using Z to target enemies. It's not glamorous, but it's, that's the swordsman's bread and butter. Ooh. Try getting in some good practice on those logs. If the sword doesn't respond quite well the way you want, try a big vertical overhead practice swings in front of you. Then get back to the action. Once you've sliced up those logs, I'll set it up so you can try your big move. But I need to go save my loft wing. <laughs> Hey! Hey, horse! You can't take swords outside the sparing hall. What do you think you're doing sneaking out with that? What? Your loft wing is missing. You wanna go look for it? Well, I guess I could make an exception just this once. But remember that Skyloft is a peaceful place. Only knights carry swords. So I'm gonna see you swinging it around like crazy out there. I don't want to get in a ton of trouble over this, so here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on these logs first, and once you get outside with that sword, only use it when you absolutely have to. Got it? Okay, bye. See you later, pal. The capture actually isn't killing it too much. 
surprisingly, Malkith. Hey, friend. Walk yourself on over here and say hello. How do you do? I'm what you call a Sheikah Stone. Glad to meet ya. I'm a stone a few words, so let's get right to it. You're gonna find yourself in puzzling circumstances as you make your way through this world. You should find yourself stuck and you have no idea to move forward. Come see me. I've got nothing for you right now, but down the road when you're feeling stuck, things I'll show you just may just get you back on the right track. Good luck out there, friend. Uh, Minnie, I haven't really got to try out this game too much. So I'm not sure if I really like like it yet. But we'll find out soon enough, shall we? Won't we? I did play it for like a little bit a long time ago. But I don't really, like, I don't really remember too much about it. All I know is the stamina is dumb. One more day, Black Rose. Smaller. There we go. Oh my god, rupees. You got a great rupee. It's worth one rupee. Collect lots of them. Yeah, you know it. Oh my god, another. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, but you dropped something good. Yeah, this is the only 3D Zelda I actually have never beat. One of the only Zeldas I actually have never beat. So I plan on fixing that by beating this one. You've got a monster claw. This extremely sharp claw looks painful to even touch. It's worth 20 rupees. Don't spend it all in one place. Don't tell me what the fucking do you. Oh, dude, the seasons and four swords are actually some of my favorite games of all time. <laughs> Zelda 2 is a chore to beat. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hit. 
That's so rich. I wonder what my wallet size is right now. Hopefully it's not 99 rupees or I'll be upset. Even 100 rupees would be pretty upsetting. Horse! Hey horse, I was hoping to find you here. I heard you've gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I, th I fly around and help you look. Where's your search going? Any sign of your loft wing? Hmm. Oh no. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Bruce and his gang always hang around. We will find something there. Oh. <laughs> Who's that? Are you cheating on me? Who's calling for me? Oh my god. You had another girl here. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill you. That's what she said, I'm telling you. Look, there he is. Oh my god. Look that bad. Is he laughing, horse? I'm gonna free him. No one locks away my bro. Get motion controlled on. Now your lost ring is free, you should fly to the ceremony. Leaf, why are you awake? This is like late pants hours. That's pretty freaking late. But before you go, I have to ask you something. I I heard a voice a few moments ago. Are you cheating on me? You're cheating on me. I'm very upset with you right now. And it's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling being upset with you. I was like someone is calling me out of dating you or something. Oh my god. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say it's empty, barren place. That's where you belong if you're jail on me, you fucking slut. Just go down there right now, you're jail on me. I just I have a feeling there's actually stuff down there, okay? But this, I have, that's what I'm feeling. Some of Father's old texts talk about the place called the surface, and the old tales describe a whole world under there, far more vast than the sky law. Thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, and our lost things won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help but imagine the wild thing that might be waiting below. Someday I want to see for myself. I haven't drank too much like this. Oh, sorry, horse. We don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look for your, your bird's waiting for you, okay? You sleep off the edge and look down on the deep pad. Don't worry about falling. Your bird will catch you this time for sure. <laughs> flying to LA tomorrow. What's you doing in LA? Leaf. <laughs> it's just, it's instinct. Yeah, it shouldn't be. Make sure he's not hurt, okay? 
You can change the direction of your bird flying by pumping the Wiimote left and right. Cool. So let's be up. Swing the Wiimote up to gain some multiple Just point the Wiimote down. Then you it down to drop into a fast dive. Again, tilt the Wiimote up and point the Wiimote down. Those are the basics to gain your bird to the top speed. How's he handling? You think he's flying all right? Well, riding or lofting, you press two at any time to go to the base controls again. You can also press A to charge and attack to do a burst of speed. Press B to slow down. All these moves, it's really feeling. Huge relief, huh? Not all about you, Harris, but your left wing looks like he's flying great. My father and the others are probably worried about your birds. So let's go give them the good news. I would love to save my progress. Thank you. Your love thing really is amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy has been to this morning. I'm gonna fly back and tell father what happened. No! Well, well, if it isn't horse. Word around the plazas, you found your dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great, because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. And the pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start. And they delay it for you? I don't get it. The big flakes get special treat. You're almost a man, and yet you can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? I don't think we've noticed the smug looks. Oh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh. You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Bruce has been going on forever about who he's gonna be the one with Zelda. He's really got a, his pompadour and a ruffle about her. <laughs> hey, to break to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at this today's ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to claim that sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, there's no way I'm gonna let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Yes, that sailcloth. Zelda's sailcloth. It'd be mine. <laughs> oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First I won the big race, then Zelda and I finished the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone. No one is stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real, I can I can see it. <laughs> oh yeah. Groot, screws! Behind you! Right behind you! What? Can't you see him in the Can't you two see him in the middle of <gasps> Good. Uh -huh. Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? <laughs> uh, nothing big, really. Just, uh, just... Yeah, horse. Yeah, I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was because he found this red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Anyhow, yeah, later's out. I'll look for you during the race. I'll be going pulling off all the dangerous moves. <laughs> Bruce, wait up! Did you hear that guy? A fair race. Yeah, the chances of that happening are just about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down. Or just, just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you got these guys beaten. Deep down, I think you do, too. <laughs> That's a, that is a low one. <laughs> Come on, Harris. Try to fuck it for one. Ah! Oh! <laughs> the wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Harris.
Hey! Your attention, please. <laughs> At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we had to proceed with that horse, but luckily that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you all could make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. On my signal, press A to dash and dive off the ledge. Once you are in the air, mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly. Put it down on the D-pad once you dive off the edge. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette with A will be this year's champion. Those are the rules, simple enough, I should think. But do you need to hear them again? Not a chance, my sir. Excellent! As you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. You also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it's also the 25th anniversary of Zelda. Of, of our fine institution. Yes. <laughs> to celebrate the occasion, today's champion shall also receive his gift at high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. And as you all know, you well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by <laughs> the lovely Zelda. <laughs> Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me the, how hard you've been practicing. I also want to see a good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering with other riders will answer to me. That goes double for you, gross! Hey. All right, gentlemen, line up. At our, my command, the competition will begin. Hey. Go! <laughs> You're all screwed! Yeah, Skyward Sword does not look at quite as good. Um, I do agree. Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? Yeah, you heard him. Let's, you know, you fly with an egg on your face. <laughs> hey, stop throwing eggs, goons. Yeah, freaking goons! Proves your victory today. Wait till Zelda sees this. Oh boy. Uh, cook. <laughs> Sally. Hey. Uh, Dreyer, I played this about four months ago, but I only did the beginning up to the like goddess sword, sword of the goddess, and I played it like five, six, seven years ago, like forever ago, before the Wii U came out. Um, but I didn't even get very far then. I don't even remember how far I got. So it's parts of it I know. Like this, the first section I know quite well. Um, but after I get the Sword of the Goddess, it's gonna be back to Pretty Blind. Of course! <laughs> yeah, salad. Fuckers. She's dead. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> Great fine, Maurice. Congratulations. We better get off the ceremony. That's that's more than semi-blind. Semi-blind means you uh you've you probably played the game, but haven't really like you don't know too much for a race-wise trader. This is practically a blind playthrough, other than the beginning. It's fairly blind. I literally know nothing past the Sword of the Goddess. Of course, hand me that bird statue that you grabbed from the race. I must offer it to the goddess. Like, goddamn.
The Sword of the Goddess is the first one you get. If I recall, Dreyer. Like, it's right after this. You don't even do dungeons. I don't think that's 50% of the game. Cook a pork roast. Luck roast. I did play it before. I remember nothing about it, though. Maybe 50%. Like, I think I was at the second dungeon. Not that it really matters. It's just how much I've played. I'm trying to replay it and beat it all. Great goddess, King Lamb, I pray to our people. Grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your steed during the ceremony. Valiant youths who grasp victory at the celebration of the Merfolk. In accordance with the old ways, I now bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. Sings of the goddess drift down from the heavens off the sail, which I now pass on to you. You got the sail cloth. Now you can jump from any height without a fear of a painful landing. It smells nice too. Alright, it's good goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know what? They say that the goddess gave the silk out to the chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard and finishing this, making the sail cloth in time to give it to today's champion. I'm really glad to, I got to give it to you, little horse. Make sure to take good care of it, okay? <laughs> Thanks for making it up here. Do I do this today like you promised, horse? <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> should. Yeah, we really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? Uh-oh! <laughs> Man, just what are you thinking? Don't be silly. This is your big moment, horse. You have to jump off the statue! Look down. You see that big round design? Below. To finish the ceremony, you need to drop right into the center of it. Leap off the edge here, right before you hit the ground. Press B to open your sailcloth. Just how brave are you? If you were really fearless, you'd wait till the last second to use your sailcloth. It's ready to jump? I missed. <laughs> oh boy, I see you messed up your landing. Remember, once you dive at the edge, you can control your angle by tilting the Wii remote. I bet you're ready to try again, aren't you? I won't push you this time, so take the leap when you're ready. Just dash off the edge and jump into a dive. Then you'll be over And then before you hit the ground, just hold B. Don't forget that you got to land in the middle of that round design in the courtyard below. Yeah. She just takes her bird down, whatever. So I don't even care. <laughs> that was perfect. You're amazing, horse. <laughs> you know, horse. Seeing as how you won today. Without the weather being so nice. You think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? <laughs> Face, a horse. What you thinking? <laughs> 
Today was amazing. Why did you win the race and perform the ritual together? I'll always remember this. <laughs> Zella, that ass? You're looking at that ass right now. I, I see you. Remember this ass. I know. I know I get you. It really was wonderful. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Yeah, semi-blind. Mimi Kami. I'm mostly blind though. I only remember the first like little bit really well. After the I get the first sword. When I meet the five. That's pretty much when it's gonna be blind again. What is that? On. Oh, horse! Who saved me? God damn it, horse. You stupid slut. Get my fee voice. Oh my god, man. I am waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to the mission of great importance. Of course. Ah, you're awake. Ooh. When your loft wouldn't carry you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. <laughs> but Horace, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? Did you kill my daughter? What has happened to my daughter? Where is she? <laughs> A black tornado, you say? Hmm, that's no ordinary storm. Let's not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? Like a light switch? Mm. You need to say words, horse. I know you're a horse, but I mean. Oh my god. I see. She was talking about the surface then. You've been having dreams about a great mission. Oh, interesting. Mm. I'm sorry. I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her Loftwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, daybreak has yet to arrive. It'd be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It'd also be very dangerous. Rest now, horse. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. Hey, get back here, punk! 
<laughs> you can't run from me. Okay, maybe you can run from me. Do you regain stamina once you go through a door? I'm assuming you do due to loading zones. Don't hurt me! like a boring water gunk, but it's useful for me for all sorts of things. I'm coming. I'm coming, girl. I believe it's a jello blob. The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with personal designation. She is the name I was given. I was created for single purpose. Long before the recorded memory of your people. I must have been fulfilling in great destiny that is burdened to carry. Come first, you must take up this sword as the one chosen most by my creator is your destiny. I don't know, Pop Tart. This is the voice I gave her. <laughs> the strange dreams troubling you in your sleep. My sudden appearance, uncertain surrounding the fate of the one you hold dear. <laughs> Are the circumstances of the logical that you would <laughs> exhibit some apprehension? To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that the information is high probability of altering your current emotional state. Zelda's dead! <laughs> the one you see, Connor Zelda, is still alive. <laughs> and the spirit maiden. The one you call Zelda is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, you should wish to meet your friend. Highly recommended you take a sword up. Okay, now that you mentioned <laughs> the Indian accent, I feel like I'm getting more into the Indian accent. I highly recommend you take up the sword and send out to search for, for, for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept the sword? See, like, fuck. 
It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Okay. I can't really do a Vocaloid. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, right after this is the blind part of the run. This is as much as I remember, Trey. <laughs> You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Recognition complete, master. Of course. My master. Of course. Ooh. I've had my suspicion, but until now I wasn't sure. But here we are in the chamber of the sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said by this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it, it is then that a youth, guided by my hand, shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago. The sword that I've been kept secret all these years began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first, I was sure I was seeing things. Here alone with my sword, there is simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of, of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade, one is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Oh well, yes, the oral transition, one of the most least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. It appears the critical sections of the passage have been lost over generations. <laughs> the youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse in the land, such as his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth the piercing light that resurrects the land. <laughs> so my father's old text talked about the place called the surface. No old tales. Describe the whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. Master, you must embark on this great journey beneath the clouds in the vast realm of the surface. Only though this, this journey fulfilled the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method for you to reunite with the fair maiden honorable Zaba. This is no easy task, Horse. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. This tablet will illuminate the path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. Master, so the first thing we must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with the skyward strike. These blasts are formed with pure energy that charges within the blade when you lift it skyward. Once you charge your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike.
Did I miss? Ha ha! I'm a hero. I can't believe I got a jiggy. Master of Mars, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world from you know from the one below. The tablet you place in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and accompany you in your travels. Press down to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Of course, listen to me. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have a big role to play in the destiny of this land. Let's think. If this is what Fee says is true, Zelda's alive! Alive and no doubt coming into terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, horse, especially down there. But if you decide to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. Mm. While we see it here to today defies explanation, it is only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove it. The legend's true. Okay! <laughs> sure thing, pal! Ooh. You do your people proud, horse. Yes, I will do all the horses around the world proud. I'll be the first horse warrior! Dawn is drawing near. It's been a long night for both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, horse. In those clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were received for today should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You better change before you go. <laughs> you know who would I want in my sword? Aku. So I think I'll end here, since my voice is getting sore, it's getting late, but I'll do more tomorrow, um, and I'm going to see how much I can get done, and hopefully, I'm going to see if I can be done by PAX, and if not, we'll just continue right after PAX, but there's a bunch of games I want to play coming out really soon, I'm going to make sure to finish this first, um, but, like, good chance when... Um, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle comes out. I'll probably play that on day one for a while. Um, when I get Monster Hunter Double Cross, I'll probably play that for a bit. But I'm going to try to finish and focus and get this done ASAP. So, I feel like I have more freedom with games I can play. I also want to play, um, World of Final Fantasy. And I need to finish Crash. Like, I got a bunch I want to finish. Getting this off, out of the way would be great. Finishing um, Crash, I think, would be my next priority. And then, obviously, Mario and Rabbids and Monster Hunter. Will, we'll see how I feel about those games. I'm sure I'm going to love Monster Hunter and put a lot of time into it. But Mario and Rabbids is the wild card. And it should be getting here the 28th, if I recall. Is the release date? I may not play it day one. I may play it day two or something like that. Anyway, thanks for for watching. Um, I'll make sure to save and quit now, so I don't lose the progress and have to replay some shit. And you're all freaking swell. 
Um, I'm going to find someone to host up real quick.